how many years? 22 something years in the X Games or something? Something like that. Jeez, 95, so I don't crazy. know. 95 wow, to 2000, time. and what did you retire? You well, got I, semi-retired. Well, I can always, you know, it's it, it's really, it was really a point of like doing the same thing over and over that I got tired about. Right? It's like, it's oh. like here's the ramp, here's the same, there's that trick. To change the format, change ramp design, yeah. I can get interested. There's oh, things, you know, that's, right. that's really what that was. But how much of a design change can that thing take, though? I mean, what are we talking about? Do they... I don't know. I'm, I, I don't watch all the X Games, but do right. they do the rainbow rail or the manual pad, well, or is it just airs they, on the X they, Games? They did in the past, and okay. and, uh, and and listen. The other thing is too is just it's such it's so high risk <laughs> that it's like I mean at one point I'm like, is it really worth you know all those like breaking my face, breaking oh my, my God. God. <laughs> like things like that? That's like I've done that, you know, I've, and and pushed through them and pushed through so many injuries. Then it's to a point where it's like, well. If this happens again, then it's like, is it really worth it? You sure. Know, kind of thing. Right. So especially when you're going off that size of a jump. Like I skate my backyard and I don't go that high all the time. You know, I go, oh. it, it's tech and fast, yeah. but it's not to the level of, you know, it's not wheelchair level, you yeah. know, because that's like when you're going that fast off the 70 foot jump, going 23, 20, like foot plus, okay. you make a little mistake, you're on the coping or you're low. I mean, you saw Jake Brown, yeah. you know, yeah. you saw D-Way, oh I've taken God. some hits, you know, it's just like, well, okay, how many more of those do I want to take at that level? So if you, when you level it down and you go into the tech and like, you know, at my house, we have the hip and the step up and okay. the rail and manual pad. So then you can actually, you know, get more creative and, yeah. and, and be a little bit more, uh, I don't know, progressive with it, you know, and not just spins, which is amazing. You know, we just saw a 1260. I mean, that to me oh, yeah, retarded, that's, yeah. right. but, but that's, you know, Seriously. that's progression. You oh, know? yeah. 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 Seriously. Was it the, it's, uh, some other guy? Mitchie Brusco, by the way, I have yep. to say. There it. you oh, go. There you go. Yeah. But the other guy, he... Um, he slammed as well on the same same ramp. What was the guy's name? Um, is it Tom Shar? No, oh. no, no. He or is it? Uh, he slammed. Good. Oh, it's Trey Wood. Trey, Trey Wood. Trey. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I was. He was trying nines. I was. You know. I was right there. We were skating, and and then uh, I was like, "Hey, go first. I want to see it from up here." Okay. And then he drops in, and he spins, and it looks good because you know I'm looking at it flat, so I'm far away from the rolling. So, and then all of a sudden he's you know just stops. Oh. You know? And I was like, oh, that's not good. Right. You know? And then, you know, when I, when I saw the footage, I can't believe he actually walked up. Yeah. He was just trying to be like, stay, you know, stay moving. Yeah. But he, he sat right down, like, as soon as he felt. Oh, I mean, that was, that, see, that, that is what I run from. Yeah. <laughs> well, like yeah. I said, like the one slight, list, m slight miscalculation. It is. And you can't see, and you just got to believe it. You got to give it the snap, and then you got to, right. like, hope that you're in the right place. How does you know? that affect your session on that when someone falls like that? It's a bummer. Well, <laughs> yeah. it, it it, it, you know, it, it sucks, obviously, because you don't want to, you know, and that was right before the contest start, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but right after that, it really depends on who goes after, right? So, like, Elliot jumped and then did a tail five mm -hmm. and made it, you know, and just kind of cleaned up the uh, okay the slam vibe. You know? Right. Uh, and right. it can, it can be harsh. And, you, and, and the way I look at it, if I took the slam, I was like, okay, there's that. So the statistics of that happening again is like now I, I'm in a better place, so I'll go again. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, right. But, you know, it's just, it stays in your head. I mean, if you do it long enough, like I have, you've experienced the, you know, the pain in many different ways, then it's in your head, you know, always. Yeah. Right? So when you have the new energy, a lot of the kids are starting, they haven't taken those slams yet. Trey oh just did. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure he's Seriously. thinking different. Yeah. But, you know, it's just this <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's great. It's fun. Because I remember the feeling. I remember when I was skating at all the time, and I was just like, ah, this is I know how to do it now. I know how to fall. I, I, you get this confidence. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's a difference in, in the confidence and the ego inflating. Because once the ego starts inflating, you can get checked. Uh, real pretty quick. hard yeah <laughs> so uh, you know and i was like oh yeah i can you know try and whatever and i was trying uh nollie heel nolly backside heel 180s right on the on the on on the gap okay and then when i went to fall i, I put my foot down i was just kind of like I, I fell so many times like i know how to fall you know it's all good i put my foot down i was riding sideways so as soon as i put my foot down my leg just it's oh, so fast, no. right? So it just caught in my knee, just went, whack, kind of did this whip and no. it almost blew my knee just on a simple, oh. simple. Put my foot down. I was like, oh, okay. Now I really have to pay attention every time I'm skating. I can't mm -hmm. do that. So mm -hmm. now I don't put my foot down ever, oh. you know? 
when I bail, it's like I turn into Stretch a ball, side, oh. you know, and slide it off. Exactly. Right. But, but it takes, you know, when you skate vert, when you skate park, and you skate street, you bail differently. So mm -hmm. you get this memory of like how to do it. Sure. And on mega, and that's what usually what people get hurt when they start skating mega is they try to run out. Uh -huh. Oh, geez. Pat Duffy. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that was a huge one, and that was you know it's because he tried to he tried to run out. His instincts took over. It's instincts. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he skates. That's how he skates, and that's you know so the bailing part is like so important. Over mm -hmm. there. But that's that's that was it. Once that happened to me, I was like, okay, let me. Focus. Focus. Every time I jump, now I treat it like a skydive or I treat it like a, a flight, mm -hmm. you know? I check everything. I make sure I'm good. I'm focused on because your, your next flight is the most important. That's, you know, you, no matter how many jumps you've had, no matter how many things you've done, mm -hmm. the one mistake you make could be a fatal one. That's so, right. Oh, my God. So I treat mega like that. So I'm checking my board. I'm checking this. And how's yeah. the ramp? How's this? And every time I go, I'm like way more you know respectful of it. Totally. Yeah, so. I mean, speaking of like your, uh, your backyard, you have the mega in the back in the backyard. I mean, how does that do you, do you even just go for like what's a session like that do you just, can you just <laughs> wake yourself. up and just be like oh you know what i'm gonna, I'm gonna go mess with the little mega for, <laughs> yeah. for a minute a like, a, for, yeah you, you can't like you can't have uh somewhat of uh, mellow sessions on it i can go for lip tricks on the quarter you know mm -hmm. and and just but it's it's tiring like you have to like you know Is walk it? up the landing and then mm. take speed and get on and then okay. bail and walk up the landing. Yeah. Right. So anytime I you know I filmed a lip trick or whatever, it took me you know a lot of effort. You know unless I made it like you know short amount of tries, which isn't that many many times. It, it's just these constantly going up, constantly going up, constantly going up, and that's like that's, that's the hard part. Right. So but that's also good because then you're. That's like the fitness part of it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I was going to say to get a, ch a ski lift or something. Yeah. But, you know, uh, that's a good investment. But, you know, keep in shape. Walk that's up right. the hill. That's you know? right. So I can go there. I can I can do a session on the rail. And to me, the rail is, is is uh, I, I can skate that every day. Oh, you can? Yeah, like I could be into that. Like Warm up would be a board slide or 50. Like, how do you warm up? Like, what do you? Yeah. 50-50s What's a warm up? Board slides, board okay. Ads, you know, just straight 50-50s or Smith grinds or, you know, like that. Hmm. But once you start, like, flip into it, like flipping into it, then it's just a matter of how you get out of it. How do you bail? Right? Okay. So when I'm first, when I start, because the rail is really like, it's the angle of the, the, the rail is like the angle of the trajectory. So when you look at the, oh. you know, so when I go fast, I just hover above it. Yeah. And you're kind of like placing your, your trucks yeah, or board so on it. Exactly. So if I want to, you know, touch the rail, I have to slow down. So what I do is if I'm trying something new, if I'm going to try a flip into it, like I go fast, you know, and then. So you know you're going to clear it. I yeah. know I'm going to clear right. it, but I'm just, I start getting more and more comfortable with it. And then mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, the flip's kind of there and then I'll slow down. And then when you really slow down, then you feel the, you know, you feel the rail. Cause a lot of times you can just be hovering above it. You yeah. know? So you can do like, you can do a board slide by just, you know, just touching yes. just a scratch, yeah. but you're kind of doing an air almost. Right. Right. So, you know, to really, you know, to flip into it and to, to land trick, sometimes that float set like feeling is not good. So you need to touch the rail. Yeah. Okay. So then you need to slow down and the slowing down is, is uh, scary. I could imagine yeah. because you want to make sure you're in. <laughs> you got to clear you know. the thing. And there's yeah. ways that I've kind of learned to. I got this this move so I don't sack it. Right? <laughs> oh, what's, what's a move? A, I, I do a, a a four, right? So I put my like just you put your ankle like around my knee, like ankle around the knee. Okay. The and four. then I do the, sh the shin slide <laughs> like across it. Oh. Right? So if I flip and the, nothing's there and I'm gonna like sack, I go up right into that oh. four. <laughs> And then I lock the, it's like a shin slide. I got what shin, about shin guards. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was oh. going to ask. So you yeah. bring one foot up over your knee. Yeah. And then okay. shin guard slide. I would like it. to see that, huh. actually. Yeah. No, I, I want to see some bales. So many bales. Yeah. Like that, that I do that. And then one time I tried to kick flip. I tried the, the kick flip indie uh, butt ride that I do, like on like end of demos. Like, okay, that's it. <laughs> I'm know, out of here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tony has the, the, the back flip into the. Under the, the deck, deck yeah. right? Like he does that one. Mine's the, the kickflip, like yeah. butt ride. <laughs> so when I do that, I mean, the demo is over. I'm not, you know, coming back it's kind up. Of toss. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, oh, I think I can do that on the rail, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to kickflip and then butt ride, right? I think I can still do it. Okay. But the, the first <laughs> time I tried it, I just went kickflip. I opened up my leg, so the four is gone, you mm -hmm. know? And yeah. then, like, it didn't quite, I couldn't get it under me, so I went straight sack. Oh. Like right, like I mean, both. I barely, it didn't. It didn't really 
grab like it didn't hit the balls like full on <laughs> but it like sure. it grabbed the side of both sides of my legs and it was like just purple it was just a bad oh. just super bad and oh. then i was like i can't believe that just happened like i mean that was one of the worst slams i've had on a trick that's not even that yeah it's i like, shouldn't even have tried that, yeah. you know? <laughs> but now i'm intrigued now i want it you want to try it yeah. it's been a while 